This is the fifth installment of Sam Fisher. Have I approached him differently this way? By the nature of the process of how we made the game, yes, I have this time. Hi. The whole story seems to me more dense. It's more human. The relationships seem more human. Uh, I caught myself actually when we were doing some of the dialogue, especially around Sarah, my daughter, and stuff like that, that it got a little emotionally richer than, we're, than I'm used to. Who killed my daughter? I have a 10-year-old as this is being taped. That is one area of my life where uh, it's very rich in emotions. And be able to uh, address that in this game. Uh, it was satisfying and kind of uncomfortable at the same time. Dad? Do I feel, do I think that Sam's a little more raw in this game than Conviction? I don't know if raw is an, an appropriate word. He is, it's, it's a lot more personal. Uh, I think a lot of people who play this game are gonna be able to identify with that lack of trust and that kind of emotional fluid state that Sam's in. The Sam Fisher you know is dead. His best friends are dead. Uh, and he's operating basically in a vacuum. Kind of like a, a hair trigger that's been pulled too many times. Pretty well operating on its own now. The man who played by the rules listened to the voice in his ear. He's gone. Bringing Sam back to life now is like putting on familiar shoes. It's, it's like getting into a car you like.